The Equalizer airs Sundays on CBS and follows Robin McCall, Queen Latifah, Taxi, a former CIA operative who helps those with nowhere else to turn. Adam Goldberg's character, Harry Keshidian, is among her talented team of specialists, using his computer skills to find perpetrators and save their victims. Season 5, Episode 3, titled Just Fans, sees Harry step into the field after Robin asks him to go undercover as a musician seeking to build his platform. With Robin helping Harry fake his death in previous seasons, the installment allows Goldberg to switch up his current role and play a character who wants to make his presence known. The persona is an interesting divergence from Harry's earlier storyline, but it also provides a perfect opportunity for the actor to demonstrate his real-life talents. Goldberg shares that, while he's created music for the show before, Just Fans is only the second time he's properly pre-recorded a song for an upcoming episode. Adam Goldberg, so they were like, we're doing an OnlyFans episode, and you're going undercover. That's what they told me a few weeks before, and I was like, what? I don't understand. They're like, yeah, you're going to be a guitar player going undercover. My understanding of OnlyFans is it's your friends from Instagram naked. So I was a little confused, but I guess there's a whole thing about these places that manage and farm out influencers. That was kind of interesting, but I had to dig down on that as a reality. But I thought it was going to be fun. I think it's the second time I recorded music for the show, although it's maybe the fourth or fifth time that I've played music on the show, but in a couple of instances, it was just sort of fooling around in a scene, and it was just live or whatever, but this is the second time that I properly pre-recorded something. That's why they had told me weeks in advance because I had to put something together Adam Goldberg, right? Exactly. And that's why I was saying, I'm totally confused. There are guitar guys that, do that? Laughs, I don't know. It's a thing, I guess. Everything is always based on a thing. Most of the time, I can't believe it. I'm reading the stuff, and I'm like, this is absolutely bad sha asterisk t insane. What? We were just doing an episode about this baby farm thing, and I'm just like, what the hell are these people talking about? And then you look it up, and it's a real thing. I don't know where they get all of their crazy news from, but it's the Adam Goldberg, initially, they were going to have me wear something that was kind of crazy-ish. It was kind of confusing because I was like, I'm going undercover for something that is so similar to me that I think it would have just looked like I was badly dressed. I was like, I think I'll just do a voice. So then I recorded this voice into a text thread I have with the showrunner, and I was like, I think I should just keep calling everyone bro, and that was the extent of my undercover work. I thought that was actually kind of funny. I saw that scene Adam Goldberg, oh, yeah. It was confusing for me when we first started doing that. I was sort of like, is he undercover? How well do people know who he is or isn't? It was always a fine line. Anytime I would go out, it would be sort of vaguely undercover. I was always wearing hats and things like that. Now it's just a piece of biography. I guess that's what happens when you're on a show that lasts longer than six months, which in my experience, has been very rare. Things change, and then you find out, oh, I didn't realize I was this. Adam Goldberg, yeah. When we first did the show, we did the first two episodes in the first season in tandem. We were basically shooting the first two episodes at the same time. There was a scene when Robin and I go, in fact, right out of the gate, even when I'm supposed to be off the grid, she needs me to go crack a safe or something like that. My first scene of the show that we shot was the scene I did with Queen. In fact, she's the first person with whom I breathe unmasked air in a confined space, because we were shooting at the end of 2020. I remember I got in this car, I was like, hi, nice to meet you, Queen. And we took off our masks, and that was the first time for me since the spring of 2020 that I had breathed around a non-relative. But I remember that scene was a lot of fun, and so I was always hoping there was going to be more stuff like that with her so it wasn't quite so segmented. It's good. We did a bunch of stuff in the first few episodes of the season.